Welcome to One Pizza Too Many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, One Pizza Too Many, cooking and unboxing videos. Now today, um, I'm joined again by Chef Matthews, um, and we are going to be creating a Christmas pizza, and this is part one, so we're going to do a part two as well. So part one, we're going to do a savoury pizza using some of your Christmas leftovers. So let's have a look at what ingredients we're going to use today in this video. So the ingredients that we're using today are some dough balls. Now these have been uh, made last night, we've cold proved them, got them out this morning and boiled them up and they've been sat for about four, four and a half hours. We've got a little bit of double zero flour for pushing the dough out. We've got a nice cranberry sauce to go and use as the base. A little bit of grated mozzarella, some classic Christmas cheese which is brie um, and obviously the classic combo with the brie and the cranberry some leftover cooked turkey some uh, sausage stuffing balls some smoked bacon and everyone's favourite at Christmas pigs in blankets now today you'll see that we're in work we've got masks on, visors on because um, that's what we're going to do nowadays isn't it because uh, of the old coronavirus um, so, I've not got my pizza oven, however I've taken the pizza stone out of my uni caro, I've put it into our big Rationelle combi oven which goes up to 300 degrees, so we've had it on heated and got it nice and hot and we're going to see what the pizzas are like from a Rationelle combi oven. Yeah. So that should be interesting, Joe. Yeah, looking forward to it, yeah, so uh, obviously been following uh, Simon's channel, uh, getting some good tips on there as well. Start making that dough myself, uh, following the uh, app that you're using to do your Yeah, and if you, if you want to see how, uh, how easy it is to make this dough, just head over to this uh, link just above my head um, to see my video on how to make really nice handmade pizza dough, and that's the exact exactly what we've done today. Yeah, and it is a good dough, it's I've used it myself, so yeah, uh, looking forward to it, Chef. It's right. really interesting. Right, so. Before we get into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, if you like what you're seeing and hit that notifications bell to be notified of when I release a new video and you're not going to want to miss the next video because the next one is the part two uh, and it's going to be the sweet Christmas pizza and it's going to be a mince pie pizza. You're not going to want to miss that. So let's get into today's savoury pizza. We have our pizza dough. Just going to open this up. Got oil to clean film over the top. Okay. And we have some of the flour. And we're going to carefully, if you've got a scraper to get underneath, it's always handy. But if not, if you're just careful, you can just dip, dip your dough in. Is that better than just putting flour in? You put a bit of flour on the table as well? Yeah, yeah. Just if, if you dip it in, it just gets it all Yeah, so it in. Caught it, it helps it to uh, melt. And then if your dough is rested enough, then it should be fairly easy to push out like this is. Looking really good. So what size are your dough bowl, Chef? What? 250 grams, About Chef. 250, yeah. yeah. And what will that make of? Uh, 10, 12? Sort of, yeah, 10 to 12 inch beef, Chef. We're going to go for about... 12 inch because I, I do what I can see. <laughs> and we're not making a, a festive meat feast, aren't we? So we're festive meat feast. Festive meat feast. Right, so there's one. I'm just going to push this other one out as well, Chef. Right. And then we can get them both topped together. So a great, a great idea just using up bits and pieces, yeah? Yeah, for real. So that's the next one. Right. These out. It's quite easy to work with, isn't it? It's not a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So people shouldn't struggle with that, really, should be. It's not hard, is it? That? Yeah, if you're struggling with your dough, then basically 
you've not left it long enough. Right. For in the balled up stage. So it's that resting period after it's been balled up? Yeah. yeah. Right, so That's there we go. Just a bit more flour underneath because if one of these is going to sit in a little longer than the other while we cook them. Okay. Quality. And Ian is going to. We're going to be top. Uh, yeah, so Ian's going to top it with the cranberry sauce. Right, so just a, a basic cranberry sauce uh, that we're using. We're not going to go too mad, are we? We don't want uh, too much. So we're going to keep that little, uh, you want know, a little rim leaving around there, yeah. Chef? Yeah. Now, if you're going to use this sort of uh, method in a hot pizza oven like, uh, like on my other um, videos, the uni pizza ovens, etc., um, be careful with your cranberry sauce because obviously it's quite sweet and uh, it will burn and set on fire fairly easily. We're using the uh, Neapolitan dough recipe. I'm using Peas app plus app. Okay, yeah, I'll just put one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've done the other. I've used the 62% uh, hydration in this dough, 3% salt, Fantastic. and it should. It should work fairly well. It's quite a reliable percentage, that is. Well, that's it. Lovely, cooking good. A little bit more on that, tidy bit. Excellent. Happy that, Chef? Good. Really good. So a little, bit, little bit of mozzarella. So a bit of grated mozzarella, yeah. Could you use. If you've, obviously if it's of a festive period, yeah, so you're looking at making these using your leftovers, could we use another? Yeah. Like a white cheese or a grated cheddar or something? Yeah, or any hard cheese, a bit of parmesan as well again. Right, but we're not being too bad, are we? we? No. Not sure. So just no. a light covering? Yeah, just a light covering, um, just to give that base a nice sort of right. melted appearance, because we're going to go on with some brie. Excellent. Looking good. Festive colours and all, yeah. Chef, yeah. So red and white, looking good. Next one. Yeah, so we've got bacon and we've got pigs in blankets. Pigs in blankets yeah. Not that anyone will have pigs in blankets left over, <laughs> so you're probably going to have to cook yeah. some of them fresh because... Especially not in my house on Christmas Day, mate. Yeah. People uh, absolutely love them. Alright. So a bit of smoked bacon, is it, this chef? Smoked bacon, yeah. Alright. And then we've just uh, and then put, it into, in blankets. put it into strips. Excellent. Lovely. But it's not one now. Yeah, we need another pig in blanket. Oh, we have a bit of a pig in blanket. We've got four on that one, Chef, if you've got a spare one for the pig in blanket. Uh, and then while the Simon's looking for his pig in blanket, we've just got some uh, stuffing balls. So these are sausage meat stuffing balls, Chef, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful, so. Turkey, cooked turkey pieces, yeah, spare turkey from us, cut off turkey. Just break that up a little bit, that's a big piece. Looking really nice. And all this is cooked, so it's going to just reheat really fast. Fantastic. You couldn't go on and put all this on ingredients on raw because it'd just be burnt on the outside and over the middle. Really good, mate, fantastic. And then we've got some brie, brie. and a tear up, just tear up so puddles onto the pizza. Oh, yes. Absolutely, looks amazing, mate. Fantastic. Gosh. So, like you said, so we're going for that classic, like a bit of brie and a bit of cranberry, chef. Yeah. Yeah. Classic combo. Can't so, go yeah. Cranberry. And everybody will have a a cheese board, won't they, at Christmas? Yeah. I'm just going to be a little bit uh, generous, chef, and stick another. What well, I would of say is, on. if you're doing this in a in a uni oven or a gasoline oven, etc., I'd go a little bit easier on the toppings because of the heat of those ovens. Um, you may end up with just a big fireball. Fantastic. Okay. Good. Looking good. So next we're going to get one onto the pizza peel. And what we've got in the Rationale Combi Oven, which is on 200 degrees, uh, we've got um, my pizza stone out of my oven carry, which we're going to slide these onto. So lift the front edge, slide it on. And at this point, you can do any stretching or alterations that you might want. So, Let's head over to the oven and get this 
in the oven. And so we've got the pizza, let's go in with it. Red on, just like this. There we go. Onto the pizza stone, I'm just going to put all these balls move, but apart from that, then we're going to go in and we're going to set the, set the timer for six minutes. So let's head back in six minutes and see where we're at. Okay, so we are, we're now four minutes in, so we set it for six, we've got two left, and I'm going to open it, it looks pretty done to be honest. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at that, done. Right, let's take this over to the chopping board. Wow, wow. chef, wow. that's amazing. I'm going to slide it off. Oh. Okay, everyone, so let's, let's get it chopped. Should we cut it off, chef? Yeah, I'll stick it on that bit. Eh? Fantastic, yeah. mate. Beautiful. So you could do this in your home oven, and after that be a pizza oven, it just take a bit longer. How's that chef? Are we wait for a, a man sized portion oh, of yeah. a nice big piece? Look at that. Well, that crust when you cut through it, absolutely amazing. Really crispy chef. Yeah, nice, nice base. Real right. right chef. I'm trying to remember it. not to just bash it straight into the visor. <laughs> so we'll move oh, away. Taste, yeah. It's red up. Oh. Ho 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 ho! That is amazing. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh well done mate, that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Honestly, the flavours oh. of this guys. That bream and that cranberry. Bream, that bream with the little wing soft, it's beautiful shit. Classic, classic combo bream cranberry, yeah. Oh. With all those nice porky flavours. Oh. Hey, one, two, three. Porky pie pizza. Fantastic. <laughs> it's delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. That crust is amazing. Yeah. Beautiful chef. Well done. You subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications bell, and believe it or not, I'm going to release part two, which is the sweet pizza that we're going to make now to go right. with this. That's going to be out tomorrow as a little Christmas treat. Two videos in one weekend. Okay. And then following that boxing day, I'm going to get the Ninja Grill out, okay, and I'm going to do a turkey schnitzel and with an Austrian potato salad to show you a bit more leftovers. So fantastic. Yeah, so, I look forward to that, mate, then. Yeah, yeah. bro. Beautiful, well done. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers, happy Christmas. One piece of too many.